Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's Watch Work on Wednesday. So this is the first Whip Wednesday I've done in a couple weeks, I think. Did I do it last week? I don't remember. Who cares? Anyways, I got a new whip to share with you guys. Uh, it's later in the day, so I don't know when this video will get up. It's just because, <sighs> for the ones of you who don't know, I have it. 18 month old and she was having a really bad day today and we all suffered because of it but uh daddy took her to the store with him so she's a little bit perked up she took a nap so hopefully uh she'll chill out the rest of the night but anyways i'm working on a new whip and it's not an amigurumi i know i tend to make amigurumis most of my items but i do make other things <laughs> and uh i'll show you really quick what my whip is it's a witch hat <laughs> So it is still a whip. Oh, can't even see it all. <laughs> this is a free pattern I found on Ravelry. It's called the Whimsical Witch Hat by Amanda Steves. And uh, it's still being worked on. Now this was originally going to be my witch hat. But then June started really liking it. I put it on her head and she was like super happy. I tried to switch it out with a Christmas hat I made Jessie a few years ago. So that I could keep working on this. And she got really upset and wanted this one. So this is going to be June's hat. <laughs> I'm going to finish it. I've only got like, I think six more rounds to go of the brim. Is that what that's called? And then I thought about making one of those little like belt buckle things that witch witches usually have on their hats, like in cartoons. <laughs> I was going to make, when it was mine, I was going to make it really bright green, my uh, glowworm green with like a yellow buckle maybe. But uh, I don't know, for Sissy, I might make it uh, pink or something. Because then after Sissy liked it, Jesse decided he wanted one. So after I get done with hers, I'm going to start another one for him. And he wants it black. This isn't actually black. I'll, I'll show you the yarn in a minute. But he wants a black one with a purple belt. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. And uh, I'll ask him about the buckle color. He might want uh, a different color. I don't know. And then I'll finally make myself one. <laughs> so, but that's how it is when you got kids. You know, they see you making something and then they want it. But I like it. So this is a little bit smaller for my head. It did fit kind of on Jesse's. It was a little tight on him. But it fits June really good. And uh, yeah, so I just got to make the brim part. And then it'll be good except for the decorations but the yarn that i'm using is some i got at ollie's uh pretty recently and it's red heart super saver jumbo and it's dark gray heather i like this color a lot last time i was there they had some more of this and i kind of wish i'd bought some more <laughs> but i did buy this ball and another one that one time i was there and uh i'm gonna make these three witch hats and then i'm at <laughs> next time i go to ollie's i might if they still have some grab a couple more because i really like this and i think it makes a cute like witch hat and stuff because it's not like all the way black it looks like it's made out of like fabric you know it's got different colors on it tonal i don't know i don't know what i'm saying but uh it's nice this is the jumbo skein so it's the worst to wait for and it's got like a lot of yards in it 482 yards and yeah but i'm using an eye hook as well it is a 5.5 millimeter and i think on the the um the pattern it says to use the uh the hook that you got gauge with i don't do gauge i have never ever done a gauge swatch <laughs> I always just work on something and hope it works out <laughs> so what i was going to do with this because i could tell it wasn't getting as big as it needed to be for my head i was going to just keep increasing it until it got to my head size so um you know i just i fudge things <laughs> i have never done a gauge swatch and i probably never will <laughs> and i've made sweaters and stuff so to me it's all about just trying it on as you go and tweaking the pattern <laughs> as you go but anyways i will link this pattern down below if you want to check it out it is free I think it's a free PDF download, uh, so you don't actually, I don't think you have to have a Ravelry account, which is free, to uh, to download it. You can just download the PDF, but I'll link it down below. So let me know what you guys are working on today, and feel free to share any links and stuff, or other people's channels and stuff, because I'd love to watch them. If you're cooking, let me know what you're cooking. If you're doing other crafts, let me know. If you're watching anything good on TV, let me know. As you can see, my sewing, sewing machine is set up, and this basket over here is full of... Um, I just realized I'm going to have to edit something out of the back of this. Okay, you're going to see a square here probably the whole time that I've been doing this video because there's an amigurumi that you're not supposed to see until tomorrow. Back here, I forgot to move it. So if there's a black square here, there's a laundry basket behind it with my bags in it that I've been working on for my next shop that we update. There's going to be 15 tote bags with pockets, uh, six drawstring bags, and three of those are going to have matching uh, notion pouches. But uh, I'm done with the notion pouches. I'm halfway done with the drawstrings, and I did all the quilting on the totes. So I still got a few days left of sewing to do. But I think the bag, the shop update will be. I don't know what 
the day is. <laughs> um, maybe the 14th, I think is next Monday. I might shoot for that being the day that it goes up. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the black square is there because of, there's an emigrant I'm doing with a collab with Michelle from Pixie Marie Crates and I accidentally left it laying back there after I threw it. <laughs> anyways, uh, for that video, actually that you see tomorrow, I'm going to be wearing the same shirt and everything because I'm going to record it now <laughs> while I have a chance. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and record those other videos and then I'm going to sit down and crochet a little bit. Maybe try to finish up this hat for the baby and then start the other one. And then I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.